Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone and we have an update notice. This was uh, yesterday, so it's 18 hours from today. Um, before we go to the CN tier list breakdown, I'd like to go through this because part of the update on the 27th would be a lot of maintenance patch notes and follow-up optimizations, including increase and adjust the strength of some operatives so this we will discuss during the terror list in a while who do you think will be will be buffed will be debuffed so these might be positive changes or negative changes plus um uh, update on their sniper rifle horn of orca also they will be bringing in uh, efficiency of obtaining neural connection of Giga Link, reduce completion conditions, and weekly tasks to alleviate burden of the weekly task, which is nice so that we could go over our tasks quickly and go about playing the game. And a raid function for the operating system or the, for the operation system. This, I think, will be a clear system. If you have cleared a certain stage, Instead of playing through at least once and getting, let's say, for example, um, rewards for... Th there's a multiplier, right? So now, they're I think they're going to put in a clear system to reduce the time consumed for daily tasks, which is nice. This is not confirmed, guys. I'm just speculating on the raid function for the operation system and fix problems and all of these things add new co-op gameplay and related events which is nice the community has been clamoring for community events so far and um these will be a welcome addition definitely and fix other known issues so this these will happen on july 27th utc plus eight so take note of that there's um there's no mention of a time yet on what time the update will drop but take note of that one so moving on to the tier list and who do you think will be buffed or debuffed okay so if you guys haven't seen this tier list this is a cn tier list that we have um courtesy of uh billy billy by i'm not sure who this is but thank you for this tier list for giving us at least an information on how these operatives are being played so now i'm going to use the term operative it's much cooler than um, character but we are going to break this down starting from i'm not going to start by by weapon the, 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 this one this tier list is classified per weapon so the left part is smg the second to the left is going to be rifle the middle is a shotgun this one is a um sniper rifle and the last column would be your handgun so i won't i won't discuss on what you call this on what on each of the guns i'll basically discuss uh the characters and why they're there anyway i'll be putting a link to the description for for this tier list so that you might have a second reference for this one but we will start with tier B, guys, and we have here, this is Enya. Enya, again, is a uh, pistol user. Um, I was able to try out her kit, actually. I was quite happy with her kit, and I'm, I'm actually, um, I'm actually uh, wondering why she's in tier B. For me, I think she could move up to tier A. Some say that it's the difficulty of using her kit. But again, sometimes difficulty is very subjective. So I think Enya here at the bottom right is going to be, should be in tier A, should be in tier A. Probably receiving buffs. I hope that the bottom tier receive buffs. And on the bottom right, uh, left side is actually Cherno, this girl here. So Cherno, um, I think I agree with this one, with this uh, assessment. I think I used her once or twice. Uh, I don't like using her kit. I don't like... Um, although, when you use someone with an SMG, it's usually the same. But in terms of her kit, um, I un unless if you want the skill of hers that she can travel uh, between platforms, 
then and also if we could use that in a certain stage then it would be a you know she should be up not from tier b but for now <clears throat> i think she is right where she is okay moving on to tier a here so we have tier a um this is marian four star this is yao four star this is haru four star and this is nita four star so all are four stars so do you think that they should be up i think that the ones deserving here of a buff is going to be um if 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 you want my you know my my honest opinion it should be nita nita's kit i don't like how she's built um if you compare her with fanny th their kit is really really far apart that you wouldn't you know you wouldn't use nita over fanny so at this point i'd like to see a rework or a buff for nita and the rest i think should be the same so that is your tier a for your tier s this is going to be exciting because um let's move up to the ones that we have up here okay so we have here tier s so we know tier s s and s s s s s and s so again for tier s um do i agree with mauxir here at this point yes um i'm pretty intrigued by her kit i'm actually uh, testing her out now there is just a certain level of difficulty in mauxir's kit so here she is the one with the cat ears there's a certain sense of curiosity in me that i'd like to bring her kit but um i agree that she's in ss um probably test her out i don't think she's gonna be in ss uh, sorry she's in s so sorry i i don't think she's gonna be in ss uh probably just s so moving on to this is actually curious because um i'm actually curious why he put uh freesia here five star freesia is lower than four star freesia um if i may say both of them i have used again this tier list is very subjective guys um i'm just critiquing my own opinion of of how this should be i think both freesias should be swapped freesia ss is actually i uh, freesia five star is actually very very enjoyable to use i like her kit i like to use her ultimate and her active active skill and she complements some of the girls in the roster so again both of these should be swapped i don't know why it's this order but again five stars should be in ss four stars should be in s the last two on s is life four star life four star i think should be up a bit ss because she re um, life four star gives you tremendous value as a beginner and you could really use her up up until now um if you don't really have the the, the five star version four star is actually a well-balanced character well-balanced kit i don't see any you know any reason why she should be in s she should be in ss so those are my thoughts i've actually used her in cbt and um part of um, launch i still see that she is in ss next is um this is chen Xing. chen Xing as well i think should be in ss with the value that she gives for healing plus um her primary and ultimate skills actually give you value especially in some certain some certain stages that you you know you need co-op she's actually killing it in co-op um there are some stages that you she will really deal damage while you're not there because of her pods so i think um i think shen sheng should be in ss as well so moving up we have here um okay so life five star if life four star is going to be in ss life five star should be an SSS, the upper tier here, because um, I'm. I would say I'm a little bit biased because 
I enjoy using her kit over Yao or or uh, Hasha Kaguya. I'm not saying that they're bad kits, but I enjoy her uh, using her kit over these two because she's my primary shooter. So again, and also her primary skill, Frost Wolves, is crazy, crazy good. Um, it's just that I think she's in SS because she's, she uses his submachine gun and is really prone to ricochet. But again, that's the only problem. Uh, apart from, you know, apart from that, I don't think I have a problem with her kit. Um, she should be an SSS, triple S, definitely. So again, we have a verdict on, on Frisha, four stars. She should be in S. Um, both of Fenny's. Fenny, four star, yes, for SS. Uh, but um, Fenny, five star, I think should also be in triple S. Because, again, she. I, I tell you guys, she is also fun to use. Her kit does tremendous damage as well. So, so again, um, I take. A five star over four star at this point. I don't think they're equal, so five star should be in triple S. And we have here last is Marian for SSS. So again for Marian, I think she's this is um, this is five star Marian. I think she's deserving here. Yao is the best sniper definitely at triple S. So no change here. And the last column. Both Kaguyas are in triple S. Um, I think well deserved, well deserved. Um, very nice for crowd control. Very nice in picking off mobs. Um, the only difficulty is that if you're not used to bringing a pistol wielder, then they're gonna be a challenge for you. So, who do you think are going to be buffed here, debuffed? I'm not sure. This is. I think, I think Martin could get a buff, probably. Um, also, I'd like to get, I'd like to have uh, Fanny four star a buff. Although her kit is actually nice already, it's pretty much packing damage. But I, I want more creativity in her kit at this point. I'm not sure if they're gonna change the skills. Probably just gonna change the stats, but. If given opportunity, I'd like some changes in her skills. So both our damage dealing could have other, you know, other quirks or perks. So that is it. So this is the CN tier list. This was released on July 19. That was a day before, before launch. So this tier list, guys, will change soon. Especially if... Um, the buffs or debuffs are going to be significant definitely somebody will go up and somebody will go down so that is it guys that is uh, or those are my thoughts for the tier list so what do you think of the tier list um let's discuss in the comment section uh what do you think of the placements do you agree with this tier list or not so again i will put a description on of this tier list in the I will put a link on the description of this tier list so that you could have a reference for this one. So thank you very much for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.